Hey guys, this is your Rocky and Girl Game here, and we are continuing on with friend Bo. The last we left off, she turned into a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. You are a tree, my friend. A tree! I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But... I feel so weak. What the? Onka igni me hola. Porque, porque ignorana. Let's go hola ni. Igni, jokle, vanti. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Okay, hold up. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Bye. You hear this going on in the background, guys? This is Molly. Hola, run my igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hola. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hola, ik, mi vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Molly, would you knock it off? Alright. Stop. Stop taking my friend Carrot. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Alright, there's a purse. I see my friend's purse. Take this stone, it's shiny. This crystal is not yours. Oops, Okay. I got the first only because I'm the best. Huh? Where are they taking me, Sir Vegetable? Where are you taking me? Sorry. Blah. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Look, Ranma. Epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galopma, Galopma. Left my clothes behind here. Vegetative state. Are these supposed to be like chapters with mental illnesses or something? Like vegetative state, multiple personality. It men bol no kaispe. Yeah. Ni hola. On. Rishmel. Dem Gorska, Emitan Ufio, Gorska, Ziaro. Welcome, creature. My name is Ziar. Do you speak human? 
My goodness, yes, finally words I can understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Iptum monakaist ecto. Ecto bro. Ecto prot. <laughs> they just plucked from my head. <laughs> Are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with a passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat? Protector of gates? Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. That is the only thing I could tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree unless you're dead. Death, death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can, can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Minley. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fred should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I am. Uh, I have a question. Are you with Key? King. Ugh. <laughs> You're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. King of Ithirsta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home. It's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And... Where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first. You'll see you will talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Fruit that you just coughed up. Just. Ugh. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, humanly? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, Your Highness. I demand one fruit for myself. 
You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I think I'm the right one to give you. I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Okay. <laughs> Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Uh. Good day. My name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today. At your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me, I'm the beast. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Just dumps her in the water. <laughs> Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. Spirit of the Great Volacus created it. That's the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. So when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh, right. We wait till the water purifies curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright, hmm, so who is this Volacus? Have you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. One time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Thirsta, and his blood made this water pink. Okay. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And, how is it that you are here? What brought you to Ithirsta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But sir, doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but... Sir? Wow, I didn't know I was doing anything. See? You really didn't know what you were doing, I see. Well, when you traveled to Thirsta, you opened the door between your reality and ours. 
and with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl. You're so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's cut you on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water, give Fran arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran, from a Thirsta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean? Fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had, and you're fluffy and beautiful. Alright. Dr. Derby is the old man. I bet he wasn't that bad, maybe he was just following the rules. Alright, so, going now. And I think this will be the end of this episode, because it was long. It's an intro to this new world. So, if you enjoy this one, you know what to do. Click the like, leave a comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter, and I will see you all in the next one. Rock on. Bye bye.